Satoshi. So I guess everybody has heard uh, Satoshi being uh, the pseudonym, or maybe not a pseudonym, of, of the person or persons or whatever who created Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, the term here, Satoshi, is referring, it's, it's a, I guess, uh, I don't know who invented the term, actually. That, that'd, be a, that'd be a better question. Off the top of my head, I don't remember if I've ever even read that. Uh, but Satoshi is the smallest movement Bitcoin can make, right? It's to eight decimal points. It's one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin. Normally, people will call these sats for short. So why do, why do they do that? Well, first of all, one of the big benefits of Bitcoin is that it's, you can fractionalize it, right? So you don't have to buy one Bitcoin. You can buy one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, right? So that means that even if Bitcoin costs 100 million US dollars, you could buy a sat for one dollar. So it, 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 it enables, you know, people of any uh, creed, religion, uh, you know, uh, poor, not poor, rich, to be able to buy uh, Bitcoin. Right? So that's one of the, the main things. And secondary, a lot of cryptos are priced against Bitcoin. And you don't want to have to be quoting in Bitcoin because you get to, you know, ah, this is worth 0.00275626787775 Bitcoin. Uh, you know, you want to shorten that. That's about 2300 sats. Uh, so anyway, that's what a Satoshi is in terms of how you, uh, I guess, calculate how much Bitcoin you owe somebody uh, when it's a fraction of one whole Bitcoin.